Cause we 
Is this is this thing on? Hello, I, I think it's working. Uh, Aaron's <laughs> um, did that. So it, it highlighted you when you typed the name. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm running plain vanilla stuff now. Um, I'm I'm running the. I don't know about the latency either. I think there's actually. I reckon there's a latency because I haven't changed any of the settings. Jesus, how you going? It's like, yeah, welcome in everyone. Um, <clears throat> I, I, uh, there's, there's a few things that I might change. The chat is very hard for me to read because, um, it's a perfectly good upgrade to the experience with truffle fins. I might put truffle on. I might chuck that on. Uh, I feel like there's a massive delay though. I don't know if I can change that on the fly. Because there were three settings. Three settings for the latency. Um, three, nah. Nah. I'm using the middle one, Brev. The, 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 uh, the auto one. Now! I just saw it. I just saw that pop up, Grace. Um, yeah, it, it there was there was there, there's three options for those that don't know. There's one option, which is the uh, the normal latency. But what normal latency does, I was reading, it it gives the um, it it gives the uh, Bloomin caption. I'm, I'm trying to think three things at a time. <laughs> um, it gives the captions a chance to auto generate. So yeah, ten to fifteen seconds. Okay, so that's that's the that's the 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 captions one. I'm, I'm on the low latency option, but then there's also an ultra low latency. Um, is it set to live chat or top chat? Oh, top chat. Yeah, okay, just wait, give me a sec. It was set to top chat. Thanks, GTA. I'm set to live chat now. I'm set to live chat. Testing. I don't know how, how well that goes now. 
Yeah, okay, so I was on I was on top chat. We're learning some new things. We're learning some stuff. This is exciting. This is fun. Um, so, so yeah, it's per user. It's a per user thing, Grace. James? See, look, now I'm going to know people's YouTube names as well. <laughs> hey, Jason. Yeah, I was I was actually, um, uh, doesn't, it, yeah, it does support advanced encoders. Um, I'm not running a 40 series card, so I can't, I can't mess with AV1, but that's, that's the thing that I'm excited about in the future on, on my next, I'd say the next, the next hand-me-down, uh, upgrade cycle. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like to be able to, uh, to, to mess with some advanced encoders as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, does the little heart, now I don't see the little heart. I don't think I see the little heart at all. I think you on mobile, you see it come up, or, or do the viewers, do you guys see some little sprinklings of little heart down here? That's what I, that's what I feel like it would sound like. <laughs> I was thinking about bumping it up to 50, 51, because <laughs> you can, but no, no, I, I, I chucked the, um, I chucked it onto 82. 82, just, just to be a little cheeky and just say, oh, I could never do this on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it fills us out in the spam, so you've got to be careful. So what's that mean? Uh, it hides potential spam for substitutes emoji. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's weird. That's interesting. Does this work now? Workout time? Yeah, oh, here we go. There we go. There's a thing. Um... Yeah, so I, I feel like this this is this is interesting. Um, closed captions. I'm on, sorry. The latency. I'm on normal latency. Should I just stop it? And should I? If I stop stream, it'll change the URL as well, won't it? I'll just leave it. Leave it for today, and then next one I'll try ultra low latency streaming. Yeah. Is it? Let, let, yeah. Let's. Can I turn the captions on now? Close captions. I can't. I can't do much now at the moment. That's fine. That's all good. Uh, view count seems off a little. Yeah. Yeah. True. Because I'm. I'm showing six. Six concurrent viewers at the moment. Um. Yeah. I've got a chat rate of four and six concurrent viewers. You, if, if I show you this, can you see the little graph? There you go. That's what I'm seeing. Six, six viewer, viewers, four chats. <laughs> What's what? What else can we see? Chat rate, views. Oh, yeah, views. That's all right. That's pretty cool. Do little little graphy things and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Ha, ha. Ah, uh, oh. cool. Brev, awesome. So normal's fifteen seconds. Low is five to ten seconds. Ultra low is two to five. Ah, oh, fifteen is pretty massive, isn't it? Should I look first? First one, I won't. I won't. I won't change it. I was thinking maybe I'll stop stream and then change it. But the URL changes, doesn't it? So it's not like I can just say go go live on this. That's something they could probably they could potentially fix. Uh, maybe not. I think that that might be a back end thing. Yeah, yeah. So look, you got some. What is that? A sausage hand. Is that, a, is that a thumb waving with sausage fingers, Jason? <laughs> yeah, interesting. So, so what is it the... Um, yeah, yeah, well, the things you could do in, in, with AV1, it's probably less, less so... Uh, it'd be less relevant with static art, like when you're drawing, but it'd be more for, like, fast motion, right? A higher, higher quality with lower bitrate. Um, that just turned off because of the, the home assistant timer. I'm, I just got very cold. Did you feel how cold it was, Grace, this morning? <laughs> the, the, um, where is it? This, uh, I was thinking, man, my arm's cold. As soon as I put my arm out of the, 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 the quilt cover, um, yeah, see, it's currently 12 degrees in the bedroom. 12 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Um, it's currently 15 in here, so I'm, I am a little bit shivery. You wish the theatre mode didn't make chat go below the video. Oh, is that on, um, 
Is that on uh, mobile or you're on a browser, Sush? How, how cool are they? How cool are they, Jason? How cool they are. They are very cool. Uh, you can see your past live streams and current content. Oh, so just wait. Um, you can set your the live tab on my page. Okay, give me a sec. That's pretty cool. How do you do that? I know there's a there's a bunch of things that I'm still not not um, able to do because I haven't hit certain certain things, right? So if I if I go like this and we we flick the, oh there we go there's the live tab oh uh, yeah so now it's got the um so can I move that across can I just wait customize channel is it always going to be home video shorts then live uh, featured content for returning subscribers channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed that's what on my list I got to build a, a channel trailer branding. Profile, banner, video, watermark. I'm going to have a video watermark as well. Whoa. Whoa. Um, the truffle extension sorts that out. Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you think the spam filter ate your message, but you can link people at your channel slash live instead of... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roger, 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 Roger. So you can go... With, so, so, and the URL is just your page with streams on the end. So if you were to go, so if I were to do this, youtube.com slash fit for purpose slash live. You bloody ripper. Look at that, it's there. Message, but you can link people. <laughs> That's pretty smart, in it, in it. I, I, I like that, yeah. And then, then the stream page is just the one with streams on the end. Ah. Oh. Truffles, your dog name, your dog's name. Has it sniffed out any stinky little, stinky little ground nuggets? <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, all one thing on YouTube with shorts, videos and lives. Um, yeah, I see that on the on the page, you've, you've got, we've got the tab there, but that's cool. Okay, fit for purpose slash live. Awesome. Um, so now this is a question probably for, for you, Grace, but also like Sifty Cat, because you're, you're messing with this stuff as well. Um, is, is there a, so I haven't, I haven't really messed too much with it, but you know, the, um, the, the bot commands, right? Is, is the bot meant to be, it's not coming up with pog on mine. There's no pog on mine, but is that, is that maybe a truffle thing? Maybe. Sag. <laughs> um, is there a bot that actually picks up, uh, picks up commands? From, from live chat? Or is that something that's not currently with, I, I don't, I don't, it's not, it doesn't seem to be picking up the, the ones that, but what does work, sorry, what does work in my timer ones. So I've got the one on a timer that actually posts to the chat, which is the Elgato one, and the donate one should pop up every now and then. It should. So, so I can post to chat but I can't actually um, read chat and get commands from chat. So I can't, re it can't react to things unless I'm doing something completely wrong. Yeah. Um, is there a truffle emote menu? Don't know. Stream elements does. So I've got stream element. Oh, the stream elements bot you mean? I don't have the stream elements bot. I've got streamer.bot. I was thinking, uh, uh, it should, so you have integrations, YouTube, sorry, platforms, YouTube, account. It's connected, it's connected via um, super events, membership events, chat message. It just doesn't seem to be, um, yeah. Nah, we don't use streamers for commands. Your Twitch bot is Firebot, but you can't find a local bot because Firebot doesn't do YouTube. Also Nightbot. So, so Firebot and Nightbot do read from YouTube? Okay. I, I might just have to do a little bit of check-in with streamer.bot. Because streamer.bot, it, it has a, a YouTube integration. It's here. It's doing its thing. Um, <laughs> remember Moobot? Jason would remember Moobot. Jason, Jason used to control that for you, didn't he? My beard noises are very crispy. <laughs> really? Could you hear that? <laughs> Sorry. 
I'm getting it trimmed today. 2.35, I got, I got a booking. I got an appointment. It's getting trimmed back. Because I was looking at some of my YouTube recordings and you know when it was really long? That was, it was, it was honestly just be before I, um, like, I, I, I kept it long because it was growing. And I was like, oh yeah, long beard waves. I, I look, it looks silly. I, like, I mean, there, there was one point where I had it styled in one way when I was getting my first big tattoo done here. My first big tattoo was getting um, lined out and you took photos of me and I had a big beard at that point, but it was styled differently. So I, f I felt like it made me look more manly. But now when it grows out, it just looks silly. So I, I do like it trimmed back in. <laughs> I can see it picking up in the thing. That's so silly. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. I've, I've been keeping it well oiled and I feel like my beard hairs are very healthy. Uh, I've, I've, I've got some, I've got a very good skincare routine, which does involve oiling the beard as well. So it's, <laughs> it's yeah, cool. Um, so I think, I think we're in a good, <laughs> I think it, it, it's 15 seconds too late, Grace. You can't, you can't tell me to stop because I only see it 15 seconds later. So you can deal with 15 seconds of crunchiness. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, the actual video is bigger because the encoder settings, this does, this does seem to be worse quality. Right. Okay. Is it is is the video a little bit different? Maybe. Maybe. Let me just check my settings. Because obviously well, I've created a new profile for this. Uh, we're still using NVENC H264. We are running at 8,200 kilobits per second. So it's it's pretty much the same settings as Twitch. So I don't know, I don't know. I may, maybe maybe I just have to bump it up a little bit. Maybe it's doing some different transcoding. The the other thing you guys have to keep in mind too. Is, yeah, it always re-encodes. Yeah. So the thing to um the thing to note as well. I'm still I'm still a pleb. Uh, it looks like I need to turn anti-aliasing on. Really? There you go. There's a there's a um there's a bot command that just popped up there. Compression noise as well. Ah, poo. Okay. Well, well we found something. Um. So I'm I'm not I'm not very uh, highly ranked on YouTube. I haven't even I haven't even um qualified for memberships yet. So that's one thing to work, to work towards. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that in terms of giving me services, I'd be the last of the people that they'd, they'd want to give anything out to. So we're we'll working that. We'll get that. We'll get that sorted. That's fine. So I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? Like Twitch really is still the king of the king of higher quality um, live live content, especially for us smaller peoples. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing. So um. Let me let me move that here. I'm just gonna stream a bot commands. Each command has sources. Is oh okay, cool, 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 cool. Just wait. Thanks, GTA. Let me have a look at that. So each command has sources. Holy crap. Okay, so let's just check this one. Donate. Check command. Donate. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at you. Look at you, GTA. Brilliant. Thank you. That's it. So if I go like that there for donate, what was the other one that I was thinking of? Donate and... Um, oh man, which ones had I, had I sorted? I think donate's the one. So just wait, if I press save, does someone want to try triggering donate now, please? I'll give it 15 seconds. And then, <laughs> so if someone does that, hopefully that picks up. Okay, sweet. So that's the thing, GTA. I'm gonna to need to go through everything and just enable it for, for YouTube. And then also double it up in terms of posting. Donate works. Jeff is the other one. Should I bring up, I'll, I'll do Jeff too. But what I also need to do with that one is, um, so YouTube message, enable, okay and then actions for Jeff. I needed to, to get it to paste into 
into YouTube too. So let's go. Copy that and then YouTube, send message to channel, paste. Oh, and it's got a hard 200, 200 limit, 200, um, it's got a hard 200 character limit. Yeah, YouTube limit is shorter. All right, all right. Let me just wait. Let's let's do this then. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, save that, and we'll just we'll just get the donate one. Donate one. So where does that finish? Long part. Let's cut that off. Okay, but then we're gonna do this. Copy. Okay, this should work. Uh, this is the last one I'll do, and then I'll spend the rest after stream fixing this up. Because uh, I'd like I'd like to do the actual workout now, won't I? Shouldn't I? I should be doing the workout. YouTube action. This one. There. All right. Let's save that. You can see everyone in chat as a viewer. Where do you see that? Participants. Oh, cool. Yeah. Twitch is IRC based. YouTube just ain't. Yep. Yep. That, that was one thing I loved. Yeah. Short limit. Mm. <laughs> I hope you have fun doing redoing all the ones. Right, does someone want to just redo the donate command? And I'll just have a quick look to see how, um, how that works. And then we can get into this actual workout. <clears throat> What's that? There's one command? Plus dollars equals fart. <laughs> oh, hi, man. I thought you were actually programming me something. It looked like you were doing like an incremental uh, assignment operator, Jason. Plus dollar equals fart. Bravisi's having a quick giggle there. <laughs> Pretty cool if you're subbed, you're right at the top of the sub feed. Ah, yeah, 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 okay. There, there we go. So that, that does a thing. And then that pops open. Oh, wow. So poopies. I have to, I have to make it, um, yeah, shorter limit. But that's fine. Look, I'm, I'm cool. Um, so what, what else is there? Other than, other than the lower quality, I might be able to bump it up on the fly. Just right. Output. Let's go like this. 12,000 kilobits per second. Apply. Nice. All right, I'm going out now at 12,000 kilobits per second. There we go. Is, is that is that going to make it any better? Uh, can I make alternate ones just for YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what I what I what you need to do, Grace, is um <coughs> rather than, no no. So so I don't change them. I actually have to go into the command and I add in an extra action. So it, 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 uh, yeah, so it posts to Twitch and posts to YouTube at the same time. I could go and, and recreate another one so that like it's one or the other, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> being able to instantly skip back. Oh, instant replay. Yeah, okay. Um, I have popped chat out. Yep, so I've popped this chat and I'll pop that out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so no, it's not too bad, Grace. It, you can have just a one action that does to all the platforms at the same time. Yeah. So that's cool. So, all right, that's that's a little bit of a job for me to go change that. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. I like that. Um, other than that, though, other than the, the chat experience and the user experience, just let me know, does this look any better now? How does this look? Um, it'll only trigger whatever the command is typed in. Yes, yes. But now it um, but but it will still, it will still post it. So if you were to bring up, if you were to bring up a Twitch um, chat right here, Twitch chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, every time the donate one's been triggered in YouTube, it also posts it to my Twitch chat while it's offline. If that makes sense, does, does, does that give you a better idea of how it's working? So it, it'll 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 take the command from whatever is live, 
and then I've got it set up so that it'll post to both both platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, kitties are being silly. <laughs> um, you can actually go. Can so that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I can watch it on my own thing, but yeah. So Truffles is on now, so that that's feeling better. Does it look a lot more like? Let's let's just let's just install this on. So uh, Truffle extension. Truffle extension. Experience your viewing YouTube live and Twitch. Truffle extension. Let's go. Okay. Um, get. Like. You have your custom BTTV, and that's why Kekwa isn't working. Yeah. So, so does BTTV, is there an extension for that for YouTube or nah? What's that? Oh, that's a cat. Sid, Sid cat. <laughs> okay. Um, so now if I go to youtube.com slash fit for purpose slash live, do I have to restart the browser? And that's why Kekwa isn't working. I might have to restart my browser, eh? <laughs> so I look smooth on the browser now? Sweet. So you should, cheers. Cheers. Slash fit purpose slash live. Um, so does that make it a bit better? I don't know if that makes it any better or any different. It looks the same. You gotta, you gotta enable it. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Fair enough. Um, so if, if I turn that off now, truffle. Uh, buffered chat, custom theater mode. Oh, okay. So if you if if you go to theater mode now. Oh, it puts it on the side there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wave mic, yes. I see. It's, it's, uh, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Awesome. I'll close that. Stop messing with that. <coughs> Which one was it, Sush? Which wave mic were you getting? Was it the, the wave, the wave three? Or was it the um, DX? The JB sales got you good? <laughs> yeah, nice. <coughs> I think I need, I think I need a. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab me a uh, me morning Red Bull. <laughs> then we can uh, talk about this workout. We can get the workout in. Zoom, zoom. <clears throat> this one here. This one here. Wave mic three. Nice. That um that delay is kind of annoying, isn't it? I'll 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 switch it over to. Uh, to ultra low. Now, sorry, I can I can properly think about who's in chat now, and and actually chat to you all and give you some proper greets. Um, so GTA, thank you for thank you for pointing out the the, the listener to me. Um, Grace, good morning. Obviously, uh, the mod tools on mobile, like you said, seems like they might might need a little bit of work. Um, Gold Soul, oh, we got a TVR 161. How you going? How you feeling, mate? Uh, Jero, thanks for joining. Funky smell. Uh, Gold and Bravisi. Um, Bravisi coming in with all the knowledge as well. Um, <clears throat> who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Actually, I can, I can look over here to see how many people we got on the, uh, on the concurrent viewers. Where? I can't. I can't I've, I've had to make it so big so I can read chat. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, sweet. So that's cool. This is going to be adding up to my my view time as well, which is great. I'm going to need to do. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, wave mic three. Yeah. Peep, peep my my mic setup. Real thinking. Real thinking. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what what is that funky <laughs> smell? Where does that come from? There's lots of, of fun emotes there. Wow, okay. Who 
Who's excited for Friday? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Engage with your audience. How does that start a Q&A? Answer viewer questions live. Uh, ask me something. Start. What? Did I just break? Did I just, oh no, I've got live chat and questions there. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, so it's a separate pop out. Okay. Um, whoa. Pie, pie. <laughs> um, look, yeah, Grace, if you want to put it off, I suppose that, yeah, don't, don't stress. Don't stress too much because you always put a lot of work into those things. Um, we could have the pie pup. <laughs> 3.14. Sid, Sid's just like, pie? Pie? Mmm, yum, pie. Mmm. <laughs> What's that one? There's, there's so many cool ones. <clears throat> so many cool things. All right. Had, had me liquids. Had me liquids. I'm going to warm up a touch as well. It's so cold today. Very, very cold. Oh, the soup. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Grace. So look, if, yeah. I, uh, if, if you... I know you're going to want to spend a couple of hours building things for Pipe Up. And honestly, like, it's just going to happen. It, yeah. Pipe Up gets put on the back burner. Just put it on the back burner. I, I'm, 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 I don't even get upset about that anymore just because it just, it's just been pushed so many times anyway. So what's, what's pushing it one more time? It's, it's fine. This, uh, this left glutes also started started going up again. So yeah, we can, cause I mean, we've got the green. What was the background that we had for, um, what was the background that we had for? We could get another one of those cool, just pixel background, right? From VBI. Wow, being cold actually really um really messes with you a bit, doesn't it? Oh, I'm wondering why am I calf sore? Why am I calf sore? Yeah, well, uh, let me know, Grace, if, if I can help with anything. Um, I know though, if I add to the if I add to the pot, then gold will be like, nah, that looks crap. Just just let Grace do it. <laughs> That's what gold's thinking. Just let Grace do it. it looks better, Jeff. <sighs> Um, but yeah, the soup, the soup, we have, um, I cooked a lot of it and I ate a lot of it. Grace ate a lot of it. We, we had a lot of the soup yesterday. So um, yeah, we're warm a bit. <laughs> there's so much left in the pot. So there's like a, I'd, I'd say there's probably still like six to eight big bowls. Yeah, the electrodes on the calves were, li were literally it. I was wondering, like, it feels like I've actually gone for a, for a big run, like a massive run. And I haven't run in a while, so the electrodes on the calves have done a done a bit of a number to it. Oh, yeah, and the shoulders and the, and the lats, the lats are feeling it too. Uh, Jose Marino. Yeah, yeah, it is going to be an identical feed. So, like, did we want to just push it out to yours? Yeah. My elements. What? <laughs> what are you saying? What's harsh? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, 15 seconds ago. The, the, the things, the, 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 the graphics things. Yes, yes. She elevates them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is hard chatting with delay. I've forgotten what it's like. You gotta try and remember longer than 15 seconds what you said ago. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh wow. Okay. That's that that's a bit annoying. I'll make sure I fix that in the next one. It's so hard. It's so hard from a brain distract. It's uh the easiness is not there anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what home star runner is, Jason. Please don't be angry. That looks more like a me seeks, like a purple me seeks to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just do this way. It's 24 minutes, and now I'm going to do some squats. Um, Grace, you, you were streaming today. What time were you streaming today? Uh, 10 a.m. Okay, so you're getting ready now. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better, Grace? Uh, yeah, look, don't, if, if, you, if you want me to make you a, um, uh, gone from Mixer to Twitch, it's like going backwards with delay and forwards in time. Oh no. I can't raid you. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. We're about a six out of ten. Um, the limp, you know where the limb sips are. They're in our little, they're in our little uh, wire basket, wire basket of medications in the pantry. Yeah. Um, so let me know if you if you want to hang with anything. I'll do this thing. Twenty four minutes. So it shouldn't be too long. And then if, if there's time, I'll do some squats. Um, but I did want to get some study in today as well before my haircut. And then I can do, um, I'll get those those bot thingies sorted as well. Yeah, cool, look at that, look at that thing popping up. It doesn't support bot accounts. Hope said runner. You know what Homestar Runner is? Okay. You'll get it done by lunch? A cross-platform raid extension? It just brings all the viewers to another URL. That's all it is though, isn't it? That, that's all it realistically is. It's a HTTP refresh meta tag. Homestar Runner, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have a quick look. I'm. I'm my brother, which lunch fins? Which lunch? <laughs> Second lunch. I've got, so Jason's message says, I, I think I must be getting some spam things out. I reckon I'm getting, I'm, I'm, there might be some spam filter settings that I need to change. I think I'm getting some stuff mixed up. <clears throat> How is your bread beard so crispy? I thought bread. How is your bread? What is even? How much do you batch? Something. How do I answer them? Uh, select question. That's cool. Live chat. Does it pop up at live chat? How is your beard so crispy? See, this is the thing. This is this is this is a cool thing. This is what I was looking to do with Twitch is to have my own little bot that would pin the question that we're talking about. Um, I've made a strong bad reference before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like I can scream, they're watching me. <laughs> yes, there is that, that, tr that broadcast delay, Jason. So, yeah, Trogdor. I know Trogdor. Um, but I, I don't know what Homestar Runner is, so no. No. <laughs> How do I, what can I do with this question now? How is your beard so crispy? Uh, oils. Close question. That's cool. You know what I'd like to do though, is pop out questions to a different, it'd be good to have questions popped out to a different window. So that one, this one we can mark as, mark as closed, go to channel. Oh, yeah, okay. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Um, so put, oh no, don't put the user in timeout. Let's not do that. 
Uh, so go go to channel. Whoa, that's your channel, not mine. That's there. So th that that is a thing. It, it actually it makes it. So how, can I remove that one now? Remove. How is the beard crispy? Oh, sorry, it's deleted the message. Back to live. So that's a thing. It'd be good if you could pop out the pop out the uh, questions. That's okay. Hmm. Goes to spam. <laughs> cool. Okay, I understand now. I understand that. End Q and A. This will remove all questions. Yes! The the video settings are very cool. So many different options. Which which one's from your side, Fins? Do you mean from the side of a... Uh, uh, the viewer side of things? All right. I'm going to ignore you. And I'm going to... Uh, you know what? It's probably... Probably doesn't matter if I ignore you or not. I'll still be distracted when when questions pop up, when chats pop up. I'm gonna do a recording. Might take this off because it's a little bit swishy as well, isn't it? Swishy, swishy. Uh, you're featuring too many GTA vid intros, getting pooped on. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Um, the video settings on the streamer side. So, so which ones? Yeah, we talk about like auto start, auto stop, DVR, 360 video, closed captions, the latencies, all those things. The streams, oh, just wait, open widget. The stream's current bitrate is higher than the recommended. What? YouTube recommends a stream bitrate of 4,500 kilobits per second? Nah, see, it says stream status is excellent at 12. We'll just keep it at 12. Yeah. Latency level, stream with HLS and, and encoders and stuff. Yeah. I don't get the encoders, but that might be as part of um, OBS, maybe? That's cool. That's cool. Like, there's lots of lots of stuff to nerd out about here. Analytics. Let's keep it on that. All right. I'm going I'm to record this one. I'm a bit warmed up. <clears throat> uh, start recording. Yeah. I feel like as well, I, I, I don't know, it's just correct me if I'm wrong with this one, but I feel like the, um, your identity on YouTube. So Twitch, Twitch is kind of just like a name, but I feel like with YouTube, because because more people have their, their Google accounts linked to other things and it feels like it, it's a, it's a bit more of an actual person account. Does that make sense? Like, like when I when I see someone's YouTube account, I think there's a bit more credibility to that. A Twitch account is it could be any old troll that's just started something up, and, and yeah, you, you can start up a troll account on on Google, I suppose. But I think a lot more people would be um I I feel like there'd be a lot less trolls on YouTube because people would be more likely to be logged in with their own Google accounts. Be like Facebook, I suppose. Is, is is that weird of me to think that, or is is that just you know nah? It's not gonna be like that. Um, reading about the docs about the options, you see some stuff like Gaming Nexus, really good quality, so it's entirely possible. I think that's just gonna be a bit of tweaking, isn't it? Just just figuring out what works for our setups. Um, and and that's gonna be the next thing as well, is that if, if Grace, like after July, Grace starts thinking about doing some YouTube streams and I'm doing it at the same time, we're gonna very quickly saturate our upload as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'll just, I guess, Grace, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, this account manager for the company account. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. More scammers on YouTube, though. Okay. You thought the same about Facebook, but idiots don't care if they're seen. You're right. You're right. I think I've probably come across more, um, like, like the racism and the, and the, the, the homophobias and the transphobias. I feel like they're a lot more, um, intense. I, don't, I feel like you probably don't see it as much, but you see it more intensely because someone that is actually a bigot is probably more likely to stand by their their twisted beliefs. 
and just like, yeah, yeah. <sighs> First, <laughs> you, you won, Jason. Nothing actually happened before you said that in, in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Restart the recording. Look at, look at me, really. What a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, absolutely unhinged. Unhinged. Okay. I thought I'd wear my colourful shorts for the first day of YouTube. Colourful ones. They're very nice for squatting. Very comfy. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, today we are here for a beginner level workout, as noted by the, the green backgrounds. Um, so this one's perfect for anyone. If you've got some bigger stuff to do later on, you can use this, do half the workout. This will warm you up for something else. Um, but if you're just starting your fitness journey, your fitness lifestyle, um, this is really good to teach you some of the, the fundamental and the, the foundational movements that is gonna give you a nice strong body. It's gonna build you up into doing many, many, many more workouts in the future there. So, if you want to skip straight to this in the recording, um, check the description marker. I'll have a, a timestamp for the beginning of the actual workout. Um, otherwise, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about the movements that we're doing now. So we've got, we've got a 24-minute workout. I feel like uh, anything under 30 minutes is great for a beginner because much more than that, you may not actually have the endurance to, to be able to stick that out. So keeping it under 30 minutes, uh, we're going through three rounds of one, two, three, four, five, six movements. Um, so that's why we've got the, the 24 rounds there. A Little bit of a rest in between there. The first movement is what we call the low shelf, high shelf, okay? So this is gonna be, uh, this one is going to be actually flipping between left and right. So you're gonna start off in one direction. We're gonna take our feet, have them slightly wider than shoulder width. Um, and what you're gonna do is, is literally see, uh, literally take the, the name there, the, the low shelf and the high shelf. Down on the left, we're gonna grab something from the low shelf. Just imagine you're in you're in some shopping aisles or you're in a, in a I don't know, some sort of a cataloging file shelf system. You're gonna reach down to the bottom shelf on the left hand side. We're then gonna rotate up and reach up high on the right hand side. So down low on the left, then up high on the right. The things you wanna note, I'm getting into a, the reason why our feet are slightly wider than shoulder, shoulder width is because I'm gonna bring my knee down to the floor really reach forward. So I'm actually gonna take my lats and stretch the lats out, reach down towards the floor there. We're then gonna do this almost like a twisting lunge. We're gonna lunge, twist our feet, and then reach up nice and high on this side. So we're really gonna reach those lats up. You wanna try and take that, that, that uh, I suppose, the, the, the dichotomy between low and high. Low and high, and then after a 10 second pause in between the, the minutes, so you go 30 seconds of left side, you're then gonna take a 10 second pause. I wanna switch over to the right hand side. So it's low on this side, high on this side, so we can give the hips and the legs a bit of a change from one direction to the other. So that's the low shelf, high shelf. After that, we've got mountain climbers. So after a little bit of a rest, we're gonna go onto the floor in the top of a push up position. And what you're gonna do is, for us beginners, we're gonna learn to bring our chest up as high as possible tap that foot on the floor, bring it down. So, so not the chest, the knee. The knee up to your chest and down. So sometimes you'll see people do them quite fast like this, but before you do them fast, I'd like you to learn how to actually start to bring the knee right up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for range of motion before speed on this one. Um, so mountain climbers, after those ones, we're gonna do the back lunge knee squat. This one's a bit of a complex one, and you might actually find uh, back leg knee squat. Uh, it is a single-sided one, and what you're going to do with this is take a step back with one leg. As that leg, so it's a back lunge. As we step up, raise that knee, and then we're going to squat down. Other side. So back lunge, keep the torso upright, 90 degrees in each leg. As you get up to the top, Continue through with that leg, bring the knee up to your chest. When you stand back down, or you step back down, shoulder width between the, the, the feet, squat down, keeping the heels flat on the floor, and then stand up. So it's, it's three movements. We're gonna step back, knee, squat. Step back, knee, squat. Try and keep your torso nice and upright. Try and keep the core tight. Try and maintain your balance with that one as well. Now, after that, we're threading the needle. We're getting back on the floor, back into this push-up position. 
<coughs> but instead of having the feet close together, I'd like you to separate the, the feet a little bit. Go a little bit wider with your feet. We're gonna do one side at a time. So if we're starting with the left side, we're gonna raise that left hand towards the ceiling. You see how my legs are straight, my torso straight? Down nice and slowly, reaching under, tap. Reach up, thread that needle underneath the arm, and tap. So we stay on one side, 10 second rest, then we change over. Reach all the way up and down, up. So this one, we're getting some shoulder strength. We're holding our... <laughs> You're distracting me, chat. You're distracting me. <sighs> they call that one the, uh, the Requiem for a Dream, Jason. <laughs> uh, after we're threading the needle, we've got the, uh, the sumo squat calf raise, okay? <laughs> so this one, we're gonna go nice and wide with the feet. Nice and wide. We're gonna point the toes out slightly because we're doing sumo squats. Now this one is like a regular squat. We're gonna push the butt back, keep our torso upright, keep our heels flat on the floor. But with a sumo squat, what I'd like you to do is actually have your arms down so that you can reach, reach towards the floor, okay? <laughs> Reaching down towards the floor, try and get your fingertips to the floor, but if you can't touch the floor, don't worry, don't stress, because you're gonna immediately feel it in the, in the adductors, the muscles down here. If you're keeping your back upright, chest upright, you're gonna reach down as low as you can. Good stretch in that one. But as you come up, we're gonna go to that calf raise. So tiny little adjustment. See, see that? To that. So it's down, calf raise. Down, calf raise. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. And I want you to try and maintain that balance while you're on your toes there as well. So interesting movement. Grace, I'll catch you after. After the sumo squat calf raises, one more movement, shoulder taps. So again, we're down on the floor. I'm doing a few movements where at this top of a push-up position. How you going, Jace? Hands down. With the shoulder taps again, you want to separate the feet. Separating the feet is going to help you with your, uh, with your balance with this one because we're going to take one hand off the floor, tap the shoulder, down. Other hand off the floor, tap the shoulder, down. So notice this. If this is the first time attempting this movement, when you take your hand off the floor, you, you might actually twist like this because it is kind of difficult to maintain your balance if, you, if you're not bracing your core all the way from here down to here. So I want you to really focus on keeping those shoulders flat with a shoulder tap. So take your time, hand off, tap, down, tap, down. And you're gonna feel all of the muscles in your core working to try and stop you from rotating. Liz, how are you going? So there are the six movements. I'm gonna press go. If you've got a heart rate strap on, if you've got a, uh, a device, which, which is gonna count your calories for you throughout the day, Make sure you're putting this into workout mode now. I'm gonna start it off in cardio, and we're gonna go, and in 20 seconds time, after I hit play here, we're gonna start off with the low shelf, high shelf, on the left-hand side. So let's get after it. <clears throat> this is great montage music, yeah. We're, we're getting into it, getting into it now, especially with these shorts. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width. We're starting with the left-hand side, okay? I'm gonna pick up the box down on the low shelf and then reach up to the high shelf. Here we go, down. Big reach up. See how I'm pointing that toe? So I'm on my right toe now. I'm gonna spin around, left toe, really reach there. Get some power into the calves as well as stretching those lats out. 10 more seconds. So this one we're doing obviously with an invisible box, an invisible weight. Take 10 seconds, we're gonna switch sides now. Right hand side down, up to the left hand side. Really good way of actually increasing the intensity with this, which we can do in our later rounds, is actually pick up a weight. So right hand side now, reach up, pointing that right toe. Try and keep it a nice, smooth motion. It's a big, sweeping motion, we're going from as low as we can on the right hand side, up to as high as we can on the left hand side. So it's almost like, who's ever, who remembers using a joystick on a computer? 
when before we had like proper, proper, you know, flight controls, and you had to calibrate your joystick, and it says, okay, move it from the top left down to the bottom right. And you had that little cursor on the screen, boop, boop, boop. You gotta think about it like that. You're trying to find the extremes of the range of motion, as low as you can go to one direction, as high as you can go in the other direction. That's what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so we've got the mountain climbers now. We're at the top of a push-up. Feet are close together this time, but what we're gonna do, bring the knee up as high as you can and down. <sighs> Don't worry about your speed. Like I said, right now, we're trying to build the strength in order to get that knee as far up as you can. <sighs> Time your breathing. If you're breathing properly, you're gonna be inflating your belly as you breathe in. So what you need to do, in order to get your knee up nice and high, you need to exhale when you kick your knee up so that you can actually free up some space around your guts there. Yeah. Joystick gaming, yeah, that's the one. All right, back lunge, knee squat. This is, um, oh God, Sid. <laughs> oh. We're doing the, uh, the back lunge, knee squats. Remember, this is alternating sides. So we're not doing one at a time. Sorry, we're not doing just one. We're gonna be doing alternating left and right. So starting with the right, step back, knee, squat. Step back with the left, drive the knee up and squat. So hopefully your feet don't actually move. So where they, where they start from and where they end in that squat is gonna be the same position. So back with the left, knee up high and squat. So lots and lots of hip movements today. Lots of hip stuff where we're working on range of motion and strength and stability. Step back with the right. That's halfway through there, team. That's actually a little bit more than halfway through. 20 more seconds. Rise it up. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one of the first Amigas that I owned. Funnily enough, the joystick was the, the first peripheral. Um, the joystick was invented before the mouse was invented. <sighs> nice. Warm up those quads as I get ready for some squats in a bit there too. Threading the needle. Now this is one where you might feel a little bit challenged. We're doing the left hand side first. If you need to, okay? If you need to. Um. <laughs> See, I got that one. Lots of hip movements today. The kids think it's cool. It's very popular gold, very hip. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Look, you spread those legs. Make a nice, big, stable triangle. Left hand goes up towards the ceiling, then slowly down, reach across and tap. If you need to pause here and stop, take a break. But you're gonna resume again with that left hand. So left hand up, nice, controlled tap. If you can go straight to the next rep, please do. I'm squeezing my butt. I'm tilting my pelvis. Nice, strong core here so that I don't let my hips dip, okay? I think they're, they're, I think they've been amplified. I reckon your puns are a little bit more amplified in chat. Okay, other side, right hand side. Does, um, quick question about the YouTube live streaming. Does it save chat replays as well? So, on YouTube, do you guys actually see the, So that would be my question, I suppose, is the mornings that I do do these recordings here on YouTube, would it be better for me to the, uh, would it be better for me to try and save the, the live stream recording so that you can get Gold Souls puns in there? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> or just have them as recordings that I upload later. That might be better. For prosperity. Yeah. <laughs> Sumo squat car phrases. Here we go. So, wide feet. Wider than your normal stance. Wider than shoulder width. Down. Try and touch the, the floor with your hands. As you come up, onto those toes. I'll step back here so you can see my feet a little bit better. Squat down. 
turn it into, as, a, as opposed to two separate movements, squat and then raise, we're gonna slide straight into that calf raise. Nice, take a rest. Shoulder taps. Um, when your live stream ends, it'll be archived and viewers can watch the live stream along with the live chat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger that. <clears throat> Is there a way to actually trim down a live stream into just a portion? That'll be the next question. Do they give the ability to do that? Shoulder taps, let's go. So on the floor, wide feet, and tap the shoulder, take your time. A lot of force and a lot of power goes into this hand that's on the floor. And what you should hopefully feel is when you actually touch that shoulder, it's all engaged. All the muscles in your shoulder should be activated as part of your core system, which is keeping you nice and flat here. Tap. Like with mountain climbers, you may have seen people do this super fast. You may see really, really, really fast shoulder taps, but I'd like you at this stage, at this level, even if you're an advanced lifter, an advanced fitness person, spend a little bit of time going nice and slow with those. Because sometimes you do forget, sometimes you actually need to remind your body of the, uh, of the, the benefits of that strong, slow foundational movement. Yeah. They let you end on the website, cool. Interesting, interesting, Bravisi. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, another 26 seconds rest. That was round number one. We got two more rounds of this, team. Two more rounds. Here we go. <clears throat> good song, good bounce to this one. 12 seconds. We're keeping this one body weight. With round three, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to increase the ability with this. Okay, when you go low shelf, left hand side, high on the right hand side, joystick calibration, find the two extremes of X and Y axes. Big strong reach. Have you ever, I've done this in the past, before I was doing any sort of physical fitness. There'd be times when I'd actually be trying to reach up something, because I'm a short guy. I'd be trying to reach something on the top shelf and I'd be stretching for so long that even after you've picked that thing off the shelf, you feel a bit sore here and a bit sore here, right? Who's done that before? Right hand low, left hand high. Simply comes from just not using those muscles enough. And this is the type of movement where it's body weight and it's just you trying to reach. It's you trying to fight against your own inflexibilities and your own range of motion. So the more that you can challenge that, that's the key to mobility and flexibility. It's just moving in weird patterns and getting used to those weird patterns. Yeah. Okay, mountain climbers next. Again, nice and slow. I want us to focus on the range, not using momentum to, to thrust the leg forward, we're using our muscles to pull the leg forward with these ones. You know what I mean, if you've done these before, you can get to a point where you're just moving so fast that it's simply flicking your legs up towards your chest. I wanna, I wanna avoid the momentum move. Here we go. Okay, so. Keep your butt down nice and low. I don't want the butt in the air like this. Butt down low. So lots of core movement, lots of core work with this one. And honestly, that's probably some of the best foundational stuff you can, you can play with, is your core. Good. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We've got our back lunge and knee squat. This is my favorite movement of the day. And I say to people, <coughs> you know, there's one movement that I like with everything. Um, that's this one right now. Here we go. Two, one. So taking one leg, that one swings through, and then a deep squat. Throughout this whole movement here, 
the chest and the torso remains upright. That's what I'd like to focus on. A good squat, you're gonna have that upright torso. It is gonna be different with different people. Different sort of body shapes and, and leg to height ratios. But I want you to just try and focus on, on keeping it as upright as possible. Especially during the lunges like this. Try not to fold over like that. Nice upright lunge, bang. And then you will sometimes have to go forward like that. If you do go forward a lot, make sure that your heels remain on the floor. Lunge, up, squat. Down, one more, we got time for one more. Good, nice. Okay, threading a needle. You've had practice with this one now, so I'd like you to really try and get the reps in. It's 30 seconds worth with one side. Try to see if you can do it without taking that rest between reps on these guys, okay? Yeah, let's go, 10 seconds. Bring that heart rate down. I might actually be a little bit fatigued as well. My sleep hasn't been the best, but one sign of fatigue is that <clears throat> your heart rate does some funny things. So left-hand side first. This isn't particularly a big, crazy set of movements for me. But you can see I am in that green mode. Awesome. All right, take 10 seconds to shake that out. Actually, the response of my heart rate is a little bit laboured as well, isn't it? So, I'll see how we go. Right hand side now, spread those feet, reach up, down, thread the needle and tap. Try and keep the feet as straight to the floor as possible. This is a really good movement for warming up um, for pull-ups, funnily enough. For any sort of pull-up movement or row movement, a lot of shoulder pain comes from scapula which is your shoulder blades. Um, so this, this sort of loaded rotation around the shoulder um, is really, really good for teaching you stability in your shoulder blades. Um, and that is gonna help prevent shoulder pain in the future. I'm um, also a good rehab for shoulder pain if, if that's something you're going through. But obviously if you are feeling that sort of ouch, ouch injury pain, need to see a professional. You can start off with a GP, but you sometimes do need to go to a physiotherapist, um, another biomechanical movement specialist, okay? So very important. Um, I am a PT, and I do have the, the experience and the qualifications to identify certain things, but it's also really, really good, even if you're not a PT, if you're just a consumer of fitness services, it's good to know what the scope of practices of professionals are. Okay, so you should know that a PT, if it's just a, fit, uh, just a personal training qualification, they're not fit to be able to diagnose um, certain injuries, um, and they're not fit to actually be on the, they're not qualified to be, to be giving out certain nutritional advice. So you gotta watch out for that. That's why whenever I say when you feel pain, you do wanna try and engage with a specialist for that. Um, and the specialist will usually set up some kind of a management plan with someone like me. So they can diagnose and they can, they can make an assessment and then they say, okay, you don't need to be spending your, your specialist level money with me. I can, I can make a plan to talk to your, your PT about and your PT can help strengthen or, or mobilize or flex certain parts of your body. So super important to know that. You could be lucky and you could actually work with a fitness professional that is multi-dimensional. And that doesn't mean that they can, they can Rick and Morty around the place. They can actually work with you on different, different specializations. So you might have a nutritionist that's also a PT. You might have a, a, a physiotherapist that's also a dietitian, that sort of thing. Um, yes, funky smell. Backpack rows. So that whole posterior work, right? Rows like that. Just being able to, to stabilize and mobilize. And you know what funky smell? 
it's uh, it's no it's no random occurrence that you've been given rows as well because one of the things that's involved in endurance running is pulling those elbows back, right? If you spend a lot of time like this in front, you tend to lean forward too much, your hips start to hurt as you run further and further. So what you need to be able to do is actually stand up a little bit taller, pull those elbows back, and guess what? It's a row, isn't it? <laughs> so just be having the strength to get those shoulders into extension um, it does, does play a lot for your actual running game. Okay, here we go. I'm grabbing a bag. So we're gonna go down on the left-hand side, reach up high. There we go. So adding a tiny little weight, and this could be, just like what Funky Smell's got there, this could be a backpack, a weighted backpack. It could be a uh, sleeping pet. Don't do it with a pet, if, unless they're really, really cool about it. This could be a milk jug, okay? Anything that's not gonna to be too dangerous if you accidentally drop it, but it's gonna add some resistance via gravity. So we're gonna go down on the right-hand side now, and then reach up high on the left-hand side. Well, it's not only, the, not only the lifting up and reaching up, that we're now working a bit more of the, the upper deltoid muscles, but also down here. Lifting up from down here, we're using a little bit more leg drive, aren't we? To be able to get it up off the ground. Great movement, this one. Good, 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 good. All right, mountain climbers. I've been saying we'd like to increase the speed now that we know the form, now that we know how, how to pull our legs up, we're gonna increase the speed a little bit. And this is where we can potentially get the heart rate up a little bit more now. Let's go. Mountain climbers in five seconds. Down on the floor. Let's go. Tapping that toe at the top. Good. Your cat likes to body while you work out. <laughs> yeah, he's too fast to grab. I feel like you need a, you need a Sid, who's just like a... <laughs> hey, pick him up, pick up Sid. All right, back lunge, knee squats. My favorite. Start on the right leg, speed these up now. And you know what you can do? Yeah, grab a weight. So I'm gonna hold this close to my chest. Back lunge, knee that weight, and then squat. Back lunge, get the knee all the way up to that weight, squat. So you can do this with a backpack as well. Just kick the bottom of the backpack. Down. So back lunge, knee, squat. As you squat, in this goblet position, try and get your elbows to touch your knee. Billy Bob. <laughs> Down. <sighs> 20 more seconds. Let's go. Back, up, and down. Nice, good. All right, threading the needle. Feels good to get the heart rate up again. It's been a while. It's been a serious while. Let's go. Bringing that heart rate down. That's the whole point of these rests, is to try and have your heart rate stabilize again. Let's go, left hand side now. Wide feet, up to the ceiling, down, tap. Tap. It's 30 seconds. With this one, to be honest, the slower the better. So if you can reach down, tap, 
and up. Tap, and up. One more second. Nice. 10 second changeover. Hey Glitch, how you going? Welcome in mate. Welcome to YouTube. Reaching up, under, and tap. Reach up, down, under and tap. Here we go. Down, under and tap. Across. We're gonna get a few more seconds in. Nice, good. Sumo squat calf raises. Again, we've got two minutes of this workout. Let's grab a weight. We're in that third round now. So with these sumo squat calf raises, I'm gonna be holding it down here instead because this is where I'd like to be touching the floor with this weight. The sumo, and we're trying to keep our shoulder blades back. We're trying to keep our chest up as high as possible. Go, sumo squat. And then as we get to the top, calf raise. 30 seconds worth here. I've got a special treat for this last movement too, by the way. Now it's a completely optional thing. Not a lot of people have a, a little fancy neoprene sandbag like I've got in my hand. So completely up to you if you wanna do that. But what I'd like you to try now, you've heard me say when we're doing our shoulder taps, you wanna keep your shoulders flat. Perfect way to practice that is actually to have something on your shoulders. So we're gonna pop this onto our shoulders and carefully get into position. And then I'm gonna to try to not let it slide off of my shoulders as I perform the movement. So here we go. There, we've got it right nestled in between my shoulder blades. Nice wide feet, and we're gonna tap, tap. If you don't have anything to put on your back, just imagine that you've got a bucket of water on your back, and you don't want any of that water to spill out, let alone drop the bucket. So you wanna be nice and stable. Nice and stable there. Keep it going. Awesome. And there you go, team. Drop that bag now. Give yourselves a bit of a pound on the back. Awesome. Well done. So um, this is my first ever uh, YouTube stream recording. I may actually just publish, publish the chat with the stream as one of the videos. Maybe, potentially. Um, I might, you know, that, that'll probably break my, my whole upload routine with them, especially because I will still be streaming on Twitch. So make sure that you are subscribed here on YouTube. Hit that, hit that subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications. Um, and then also follow twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose because I will be live on Twitch still um, for that live experience every, every weekday morning in Adelaide. So until we see you next time, have a great day. Pog, Pog, stop the record. Stop recording, stop recording. You, nice, good one, that was cool. Yeah, that worked really well. Um, it's now up to 23 degrees in here. <laughs> uh, let's change that. <sighs> Sweet, that was cool. Yeah, okay, so um, a couple of things to do. As soon as I'm done here right now, <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm gonna change the, I, I, I think that might be a default. I'm gonna change the delay on on the, uh, the stream because I'm not too concerned about the captions on YouTube. The captions on Twitch work pretty well because I've got a separate service doing that. But there might be a way to actually feed them in. I've got some stuff to do. I've got some bot things to do. I've got some stuff to play with. Um, Jafe, you know what's really funny? Is that yesterday, it was, I, I, I looked at my, my um, I looked at my actual uh, readout, both, because I, I got them both at the same time and I put the, the same brand of cheap batteries into both of them. Both of my temperature sensors actually battery died. Um, it went from, because they were cheap batteries, it went from high to medium to dead 
within about 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> like, oh, okay, and they both died. So they've got new batteries in them. Um, but yeah, yeah, funnily enough, it, uh, the whole home, order, uh, home assistant thing, it's flawless, change of batteries, it's all good, it's all good. So what I've actually done this morning, I've, um, I've got a, uh, I can show you, I can show you what I've got coming. That's why I'll, I'll log out of the, the actual page. Um, where is it here? Make sure I'm not logged in. But I've got one of these rocking up. So we were talking a little bit, we were talking a little bit on, um, sign out. A little bit on stream on Twitch about uh, Unify, Ubiquity and Unify. Um, they're, what are they? They're like 400 bucks. 400 bucks AUD for a 4K camera. Which, when, you, when you're shopping around for them, you think to yourself, yeah, that's pretty standard because they're all like that, all the brand name stuff. Um, but then one of my clients, and one of the guys I used to work with that, that's into this stuff, they've got fully, fully home assistant houses. He's even got, um, he's got a proximity sensor built into, he, not, he built it into his car. He's got a, he's got an, an Audi thing, an Audi, I think it's an RS, RS4. Um, it's one of those sporty numbers, right? Um, <coughs> oh no, you just got to try with HASD image then? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, but he's got an, an Audi thing and, and there's a, you know the newer cars, how they've got a, you pull the little trigger up to do the handbrake. He bought a special switch, which lets you push down as well. Um, and so he's got the push down as a turn on the proximity sensor. And as he approaches his garage, um, the garage door comes up. So it's <laughs> so cool stuff. Um, he's also got it so that he, um, he's got the camera at the front door and it, it does the normal motion detecting and it does all that normal stuff where you walk up to it and it, it triggers a, a security light and it starts recording. Um, but he's been able to program in his wife's face and his face so that if someone recognizable, if, if, someone, if, if a family member approaches, it unlocks the front door for you. It's like, whoa, okay, cool. <laughs> so, um, so that's stuff. And so what he found was actually this one. Um, so instead of, it being, uh, instead of it being $400 AUD for a 4K camera, uh, this one. Check it out. Uh, you go eight megapixel, which is 4K, 2.8 mil, which is the super wide, 48 bucks. For 48, 48 bloody dollars, right? So yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, whoop, back here. Uh, so you want proximity sensors in your hallway to control hall lights? Yeah, yeah. My dad has something like that. It's the um, the bathroom lights. So yeah, he's got he's got the bathroom lights going on. Um, yeah, yeah, it's cool stuff, good stuff. So that's cool. So, so I've got one of those on the way because it's not me spending 400 bucks. <laughs> it's me spending $48. It'll, it'll take a couple of weeks to get here. So yeah, that's fun, that's fun. Um, all right, I'm a, I think I'm, a, I think I'm, what is it, 10 o'clock. I can't raid into Grace's stream, can I? Uh, what was I gonna, I was actually gonna do some squats. Let's do a couple of squats. Let's do some. We may as well get our workout in. That workout was pretty good, so, um, Stop that. 280 calories for me. I need to do some more of those again. The wise threes, which are decent. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is just me nerding out now. Um, I've, I've got a, a PoE switch on the way, like a, a managed PoE switch. So I can at least do the PoE to the camera. Like, yeah. Ah, squats, squats. So other than, well, is, is, are there, Let's talk a little bit about platforms now. How many, how many fitness streamers kind of do live stuff on, on YouTube? I haven't had a chance to look around. I just haven't, I honestly just have not. I'm less of a viewer, I'm more of a, okay, stream and then do some work kind of guy. Um, but are there, obviously trying to, to find and just browse live channels on YouTube. It's kind of it's kind of stinky, isn't it? Because I don't know if I, if if I'm able to just go like YouTube.com, and then and then look up fitness live stuff. Um, I think I've just got yeah. So on my on my, I suppose it depends on who you follow. If you're subscribed, it looks like I'm I'm at the top here live. 
and Doom Radio beats to rip and tear to is live. <laughs> but other than that, that, that's kind of all I listen, uh, all of them subscribe to. Mm. Um, do, does anyone here in chat uh, like Sifty as well? Does the um, what was it called? The uh, truffle. Does that change the way that your front page is viewed, or is it just more for the, the chatting, the chatting aspect of things? <laughs> error after error. Hmm. What are you um? What platform are you running it on, Jafe? Have you got it in like a Docker container, or is it is it a a piece of hardware? Are you are you on a piece of um specific hardware that you're doing that? <clears throat> so I think I actually oh, I can't I can't change that now, but I think I can. I can maybe adjust the name. Nah. Edit. Oh, I can change it now. Uh, barbell squat session. Customization. Live chat. Live house. chat replay. So uh, anyone, anyone, message delay. No, nah, no delay. That's all right. Cool. Save. Save. Um, it's mostly for chat, improves the look and lets you move this aside and the the most cool. Yeah, that, that's cool. <clears throat> the thing that I liked about um, FFZ, or FFZ for other Australians, um, the thing I liked about that, it was the, um, I, could, I could do different color backgrounds for each line. So each line of, of chat came up with either like a light gray or a dark gray for me. I liked having that that, so just having a big block of text for me is a little bit, whoa, I can't read this. That's just my old man eyes. <laughs> just me, that's just me with my uh, uh, poor eyeball settings. I need 4K upgrades for my eyeballs. That's cool. Check things up here. Yeah. Uh, probably need to put them back here, to be honest. <clears throat> um, if. Here's one thing that I do want to test as well. I, I suppose everyone that's here at the moment is currently a YouTube subscriber. I do want to test, does anyone have like a, does anyone have an alt account on YouTube that they wouldn't mind testing just hitting subscribe to the FFP channel? Uh, I could probably use a stylet, probably. I'd, I'd just like to see, it's meant to, what it's meant to do is have that same, uh, you know, the little the visor, the visor animation that I wrote for the lights. So if someone subscribes on YouTube, it's meant to go and like say thanks for a new YouTube subscriber. I hope it's turned on. That's that's one thing. And then once I do get to the point when I can, um, yeah, subscribe, but turned on, preference YouTube. Uh, no delay, no light change, all on. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and when it does get to the stage where I can accept memberships, then I can add a few more styles of, of alerts. Obviously, there's no such thing as a raid on YouTube. So I've got to think of something else which people can do to, uh, to trigger some smoke or something. This one, 51. So the last time I did squats was on Friday. Um, I feel like I've, I've recovered pretty well. The weekend I had trouble walking, if I'm completely honest. It was a very, very good session. The squat is a great total body movement if you're doing it correctly. Here's a good question, actually. Does anyone have any accounts on YouTube? They have raised, but they have a weird name. Do they? Is it? Because the other thing, there's two parts to that question, I suppose. The first part is, how do you do it? And then, new subscriber. Did it work? Oh. Organism zero, thanks. 
you just subscribe with accounts that come. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. It didn't work though, did it? Hmm. Because what it's meant to do, I'm going to hit test. I'll show you. Hey, what? Subscriber. This is what's meant to happen. That. But it didn't work. It didn't work. Cross channel live redirect. What? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a cross channel live redirect. Um, so yeah, the question that I was going to have is, well, the, the actual comment I was going to make about that is that it doesn't look like there's a, there's an API event for that. So I can't actually, or not, there's, there's not one that's been built into my software. So that, that, that's a bit of a thing. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the new subs, by the way, team. But that's, that's okay. That's a thing. Um, YouTube, subscriber, subscriber alert. Hmm. Uh, when activated, the base alert will be ignored. Yeah, no, 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 no. So settings, we go platforms, YouTube. Sponsor, sponsor event, sponsor mode. Present viewers, user band event. Membership, super events. What's a super event? Oh, yeah, 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 fair, 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 fair. You need over 1k subs, you need monetized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That may that may even be the case for the the sub alerts. It, it, it would make sense because generally API stuff you have to pay for. A lot of a lot of accounts will actually not let you do too many API calls and look this is this is Google we're talking about. You don't you don't become you don't become money, money, famous, big, dollar, dollar bills, yo, by letting people do things for free. Yeah, so that's cool. Well, we'll just keep on building them. We'll keep building. I'll keep doing... I was thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays. Does that sound cool? If I do Tuesdays and Thursdays as YouTube streams, we'll go Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on Twitch. <clears throat> Love it. Is there, now Grace mentioned it before, is there the equivalent of, of um, clips? What's the clipping equivalent? Live playlists. If I click into this. Is there a clip? How do you do a clip? Clip! Where does it save them? Can, can, you, can you browse someone's clips? CCLRB. What's that? Right? You have to enable it in YouTube Studio. You have to enable the ability to do it and the person you're rating has to have raids turned on. So that's in Studio. Let's do it. Let's do this live. Uh, your videos. Mills, how are you going? Oh, cool. You, you just made one called Clips? Awesome. So how does that... Where, where do I see them? Playlists? Podcasts? Oh, podcasts! There's a podcast tab. Okay. Okay. Um, videos. Where's the clips? Oh, Mel's, how you going? Thanks for thanks for joining us on the YouTubes. We're just playing with stuff. We're playing around at the moment with um, with YouTube and and seeing how it all fits together. How's the quality of stream? Now you you've seen me a lot on um. Oh, you also need. Ah, oh, okay. You also need a thousand subs to do it. Well, team, I've got three hundred ninety nine. Can you help me? Can, can, you, can you help us out? Can you help me out and share it with some friends? <laughs> oh, super chat equals messages with a donation attached. Oh, Roger. And when it comes to donations, I suppose you need to be monetized, don't you? Do you, do you need to have the um, supers? Yeah, okay, supers. Engage with fans who show support through one-time interactive purchases. Roger. Okay, and then shopping, so you can share products across you. Oh man, there's a lot of cool things about becoming a partner. Oh man, I'd really like to do that then. 
yeah, okay, help help us out, help us out, fam. And um, if we can if we can get some more, uh, we get some more subscribers and, and friends, that'd be cool. All right, um, I'm gonna squat. So yeah, Melz, how are you going? A uh, subscriber alert should appear in YouTube Studio once you've met the ah the the required number of reachable subscribers. Gotcha. Uh, the equivalent of cl clips is clips. They're kind of links to VOD sections. That's kind of cool because they now correct me if I'm wrong, but the live recordings don't ever go away, do they? Twitch they disappear after 60 days if you're a partner but it looks like that they just stay there on YouTube, right? Cool. I'm learning. I'm learning things. Has it come up with a donation? The donation timer hasn't come up, has it? I'm not sure if it has. Uh, settings, timed action, donate is turned on. And that's donate, action, donate, YouTube message, this one and this one. It should come up. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, it's just the sponsor one. Uh, VODs are forever. Yeah, cool. Uh, Mel's, sweet, yeah, no stress. That, that's fine. So, uh, as long as as long as you're at that point where if you're watching it on the phone, you can't tell much difference between between what's going on. Oh no! Sinus infection. Ah. Oh, um. What are you, what what's what's your current your current health plan look like for that? Because um, sinus infection, it, it's it is one of those things, isn't it? Where it's it's above the neck. You know how I've said, hey, I've got a rule about working out. If it's above the neck then you can still do some stuff. Uh, but honestly, you don't feel like doing anything with a sinus infection, do you? It, it kind of throws your um, throws your whole day out. Uh, clips look like they appear in your account, but, uh, in your, but not mine. What, what's, your, what's your account again? I'm pretty sure I'm following you. Oh, am I not? I'm the worst. I'm the blur. Am I not? Sifty cat, am I not? What's your company account? I'm the word. I'm sorry. It's robots. Err. Look for err. Hey Grace, it's been good. Yeah, we're just learning. Learning about YouTube-y things. I'm learning about the clipping system. Um, we're, we're just having a, a look at like the chat stuff. Um, and look, there's a lot of cool things. Or well, there's a lot of cool things that I don't have yet because I don't have enough numbers. So I'd like to try and build that. That's going to be my 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 next short-term goal. I got gold, goal. Uh, this one, and then there's Roblox Max game. Okay, let, let, let's do a thing. Where's that? Robots makes games. Hey, hey, live. This one. Uh, nothing fun will ever happen there. Get the shorts happening. Yeah, yeah. I think that you're right there, Grace. I'll do some more, just some more shorties, some more shorts. Uh, where's the chat? Uh, at robots. Robots makes games. Why can't I click through that one now? Is it Robots Makes Games on the YouTube? Um, yeah, they're very cool, but locked behind sub numbers. That's all right. Well, 600 more. 600 more subs. Um, that's what I need to need to get to. 1,000 subs. Uh, nasal rinses and Nasonex. If it goes in a couple more days, they've got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antibiotics, they're, they're, they're very easy to feel... feel funny about, aren't they? Uh, robots without the S on the end. Robots make games. Robots make game. Ro just wait. <laughs> robots make game. 
make without the S on the end. It's not bringing it up for me. I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> Done. Robots make games. It's not, it's not coming up for me. I'm going to just search. Yes, Grace. <laughs> like, on, it, it, it's honestly not coming up for me. <laughs> and it's not clickable either, so I'm having... Search, go, bang. <laughs> that, that's what I get. So like, like this is this is my thing. If I if I if I search there, this is not. This is nothing there. Unless this is one of you. That that's not you though. <laughs> Grace's link works. Oh, you put the at there. Filter channels. Filter, just to channels. Type channel. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, so look, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be weird about it. I'm not trying to be funny or anything. Filter, channel, nothing. So, that's that's like that's just me. I'm, I'm not again. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be weird about things. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> um, yeah. Let, let's do a cross-platform restream filter event. Cross-platform restream go see Grace event. I'll do that because I, I do want to get some study in because I didn't get any study done yesterday. Look, I got about an hour of study done yesterday, um, but I I took my study time. Computer, please. Um, I took my study time and I actually made soup in the time that I was should have been doing some more study. I feel like maybe my warm-up weight needs to be much heavier because I, I did a bunch of I did a bunch of squats just before and that's fine. So I think I need to bump up my my warm-up weight. Um, so I'll start on 60 kilos. Um, yeah, it's, it is strange. Maybe I'm just doing things really wrong. But if I go, you need to have the ad at the beginning. No. Nah. No. Nah. Do I have maybe some kind of a... What other filters do I have on here? Nothing. I have zero filters on. Channel. Yeah, no. Robots make games. It's not letting me search you. Yeah. Yeah. Fins, it, it doesn't let me search you. Your stuff. Maybe because there's no content, but I don't... Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. See, if, even if I look up Sifty Cat. Is it because I'm streaming? Do you think that's it? Is it is it because I'm streaming that it gives me a different maybe? I don't know. Sifty cat. You can't even find yourself. Yeah. 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 So I'm not. I'm not a complete numpty. I promise, I promise, I'm not numptificated, numptified. I'm not, I'm, I'm actually trying. Trying not to be a meme about it, but yeah, sorry.
Chop. Yeah, perfect. Perfect fins. That's cool. Awesome. Um, did I read as well that you're going to be doing more uh, more live streams on YouTube too? FFP Crossroom Event. This would be a perfect time for me to try and do some sort of like chat, chat input SQL redirect injector. And if I could inject into chat a way for you to all refresh your browsers onto Twitch, we could do that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I mean, it's not a hell of a lot of you there. So I feel like if I were to say, hey, let's go watch Grace, then maybe five out of eight of you will probably already be there anyway. So that's cool. Um, yeah, look, let's power through a few reps and then, then I'll get going. Uh, 10. So I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to go back over. How's the cool, my cool app? I'll bring this up. Um, so today, today, add in. Let's go, let's look at the cool app. Yeah. Uh, workout, build a what? Regular. Insert exercise, back squat. Barbell, back squat, done, done. Let's go, save, start. And so I did 10 reps of 40, and then I did 10 reps of 80, uh, sorry, 60, 60. Um, but the automation, the automation, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, give me a sec, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. So I feel like I might actually pee myself if I do some heavier stuff. So I'll be back um, and then we'll go point you at Grace's stream. So won't be a second. What's the cat jam level? Have you got it in? Um, have you got that in truffle now? I don't have it yet. I'm I'm still vanilla, plain vanilla, plain vanilloid. Let's go to 80 kegs. I want to get to a few reps of 100. So so yeah, more YouTube talk. We're gonna keep it here. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Jum jum. Good. Computer, please.
Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, I don't see it. 10 by 80. So, just following my rules there that I like to go. Good. Three to five working sets. You're straight to 100. And then from next week, I'm re-adding cardio in because I'd like to get back into the running game. I feel like that's something that could go well on YouTube is the, the Zwift, Zwift running. But yeah, discoverability of live isn't crazy. <laughs> what a time to be alive. That's it. <clears throat> interesting, interesting. All right. What was that? How many sets is that? Three? Uh, we'll go two, two sets of 100, and then we'll pass you all over to Grace. Cross-platform, cross-streaming, happy fun time. At least five reps. I'd like to try to eight, to get to eight there. Um, yeah, cool. Um, Fins, what's your, um, you mentioned you were gonna get back into running. Was there an event? Or you just wanna, you just wanna get back into running? Cause that's a, that's as noble a cause as any. Six by one hundred. Nice. Hundred's good. Hundred's good. If I can keep that six reps up. Um, yeah. The return to run at the physio. Good. Yeah. Super supervised shreddy time. I love that. It's really good. Because uh, I suppose without, I definitely, definitely, definitely um, feel like my clients in particular, 100% um, get benefit from, from spending time here with me watching. It's that real time feedback, isn't it? It's, it's um, you can feel something's off. Um, and then when someone changes what you're doing in real time, it's sometimes uh, counterintuitive, isn't it? If I say, hey, like, like you saw it with, with Grace when Grace was lifting here. And I'm saying, well, hey, shift your right leg back in because you're flicking it out. And she goes, no, it doesn't feel right. Where I was felt normal and where I'm meant to be doesn't feel right. So it doesn't give you a chance to convince yourself that what feels right is, is correct. Because I mean, what's, what's got people into the, the dramas that they're in currently is because they're doing what they feel right. Um, or they, they do, they're they doing what they feel like is right. But it's just what your body's defaulting to and it may not necessarily be correct or it might not necessarily be conducive to not getting injured. Because your body doesn't really kind of know. It just knows what is, is, is feeling good. <laughs> so um, sometimes it takes a little bit of mucking about in order to, uh, yeah, a little, little bit of mucking about in order to to find what the the strongest form is, and real-time feedback's the best way to do that. <clears throat> like with my squats, I would like to... See, the donut one's still not working. The donut one still isn't, isn't doing its thing. Not on the, um... Not on the actual, uh... Enabled and repeat. Action, donate. 
okay. Yeah, it's not actually working. Um, you had the sprains, but I feel that's freaking the whole leg. Yep. Yep, the holistic view is very good. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah, I like that. And that's that's what I liked about um, the physio that, that Grace went to, and that I've also sent some of my clients to, is because like I know her now, and she's she's number one. Whenever I'm there with Grace, she'll be like, "Hey Jeff, this is what you want to do." So it's it's a it's a holistic approach to rehabilitation as well. It's not just looking at, hey, your calf hurts because you're tight in the shoulder here and then your hips are off. Like there's that holistic body approach, but then there's the, also the holistic solution approach. And so yeah, some of my other clients, they know that I work with them. And so she's always checking in and saying, hey, make sure you tell Jeff that, that I said to do this. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, speaking of, one of my clients tonight, is in that boat, so I'm gonna need a, oops, this one. Um, so I'm gonna need to uh, ride up tonight's workouts with that in mind, which is fine, which is good. Okay, last set, last set and then we'll go. I'll, I'll try and get an exam done today. Nice. Cool. You lost half the flexibility distance on your left calf. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oops, I'm gonna go this one. Six by 100. Cool. All right, saving it. It was pretty moderate. It was a good moderate workout. Um, you don't want to do too many crazy hardcore workouts in a row. Yesterday was big in terms of um, relevant BC. Yesterday was big in terms of volume. It was 90 minutes, 10 rounds. So I ended up doing like close to, close to 90 pull-ups, 80, 80 to 90 pull-ups. Um, we did 100 and whatever push-ups. We did 200 kettlebell swings yesterday. So it was big in terms of endurance. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever expect a client of mine to be pushing a PR the day after something like that. So, and as, as I shouldn't expect that of myself, that I'll be doing any big heavy volume. But today, five rounds, go up to 100 kilos there, feels good. I also did that warm up there too before, so I've moved, I've moved for today, feels good. So team, uh, cross platform, cr cross platform <laughs> raid cross-platform, cross-stream entry raid. Um, here's a link. There's a link, go follow that. We're gonna go there now, all right? <laughs> so um, if you wanna be funny, do like a FFP YouTube raid. Copy that in with the E on the end. I don't know why I put an E there, it's just funny. But uh, we'll do that. <laughs> so, so I'd like to see at least two of you Gold and, and Fin Sifty Cat, I'd like to see you paste that into Grace's stream as soon as as soon as I finish up here. All right, so team, have a great one. Thanks for joining me on, on YouTube. We're gonna do a few more of these. We'll be back on Thursday on YouTube, but I'll be back tomorrow on Twitch. So we're gonna do Twitch tomorrow, YouTube Thursday, Twitch Friday uh, for Pipe Up Podcast, okay? So have a great one. See you later.